Hello, my name is Hussein Ben Saud. I am a graduate structural engineer at HVL Associates. I am also a member of the ICE Graduates and Students Committee. What I'm going to be talking about is the Maury platform, which is an oil rig platform previously situated in the northeast of Aberdeen in the North Sea. And the purpose of the platform was to extract the oil that was found to be uh, positioned deep within the sea. Now, traditionally, the way to go about this is to construct um, a platform above the field that is then permanent. So engineers had to sort of sit back a bit and have a think about how can we reduce this knock-on effect on the environment by somehow being able to reuse the platform that we construct. And the solution that engineers then came up with is a floating structure that would be constructed off-site onshore and then it'd be floated into the position, it'd be fixed to the ground and then at the point of decommissioning, which the engineers then didn't even know um, when would that occur, and it happened to be 20 years after commissioning, then the platform would just be floated again and pulled back to shore to be used in other oil fields. And this solution was deeply innovative in the sense that engineers weren't just thinking about the, the design and um, and usage of the structure, but rather they were they were thinking so far ahead into the decommissioning of the structure. And this is what, what we do as engineers. Now, positioning the platform and refloating the platform back was a particular challenge in this case, because this was no ordinary platform. This platform is the heaviest non-concrete structure in the North Sea. It weighs a whopping 110,000 tons. Now, just to try to put that into perspective, that is the weight of 800 adult blue whales, or some 8,500 London buses. So that is an incredible task that engineers had to go about, plan, execute, and finalize um, all safely with, with minimal risk. And that really is the sort of challenge that draws me into engineering. What, what we do in our day-to-day -day life is solve problems. That is by definition what we do as engineers. And I, I, I really love that part of my job. On a personal level, I never knew that I wanted to be a civil engineer. I grew up just looking at construction sites and thinking, I want to be in that construction site, I want to contribute in some way. And through my early teenage years, I always thought that I was going to be an architect. Until I grew up a little and I researched into what architecture is, what structural engineering is, what civil engineering is. And then I decided that what I want to be doing is the engineering side of the construction sites. And to this point, um, I have, I have finalised um, my bachelor's degree, I have started working um, for HBL and I have found it absolutely amazing. Um, I am now doing um, an MSc um, in structural engineering while, I'm, while working with HBL and to me every day introduces a different problem that then needs to be solved. So we come together as a team and then we try to think of a solution and then we do the design work and then we try to satisfy the client as much as we can. In that, I find a great sense of, um, of, be of belonging to the profession that I really appreciate every day. So what I want to tell any young person out there is to come and join us, come be a civil engineer, because the sense of fulfillment that we now get in designing the world around us, you can be part of. You can come be part of civil engineering and design the cities of the future.